Hey, hey, welcome back to the channel today. It's a great day today because in Idaho, winter is almost over, spring is almost upon us. It is almost in the 60s here, so we are jacked up. It's not that bad, all the snow is melting, and so basically we're all walking around in t-shirts and shorts, and then obviously I'm wearing a beanie today just to take the chill out, you know what I'm saying? So, But thanks so much for the comments in the last video. Um, I got a lot of those ideas written down, and I've actually started filming my next tutorial, and it's gonna be pretty sweet, I'm pretty excited about it. Um, the concept uh, is, a little bit different than I thought it was gonna be, and so it turned out really good, and so I'm filming that. Should be done shortly, and hopefully that'll be posted by next week sometime. Um, anyway, so we are gonna get into a couple battles today. So I put this new deck together um, <laughs> with the sole purpose, okay, so I put the Inferno Dragon and the Rage in there with the sole purpose of getting the Inferno Dragon to the tower and then raging that bad boy up just to see how well he does. I've played a whole total of one time in a uh, in a challenge, in a classic challenge, and you know what? We're gonna go ahead and watch that replay because it's super fun. Um, so I was playing. It looks like the fourth musket here from the Golden Greeks, and uh, pretty high. I don't know. Okay, whatever. He's a pretty nice guy. Anyway, so he starts out here. Um, he throws the Goblin King down, level eight, which is okay, perfect, zappable. Very fun. So this guy was, I mean, his card levels weren't totally as high as they could have been, but they weren't, um, yeah, there were a few things a little low. But anyway, I was just focused on getting that Infernal Dragon in there, so I just was launching everything I could right here at the start. So I put the Lava Hand down, put the Tombstone down to kind of distract that Tesla to see if I could distract. And then when I got the Lava Hound to the tower, I went ahead and raged everything up so it would take out the Princess and all that jazz. And then zap the Goblin Barrel, of course, because that's what you do. Got quite a bit of damage right off the bat there, which wasn't too shabby. And so I'm just waiting here, kind of waiting to see what he has, because I don't know exactly what he has at this point yet. And so I'm just kind of patiently waiting, also building an elixir for my push to get the Infernal Dragon in. Um, so as soon as I get full bar here, I think I drop Lava Hound in the back. Um, yep. Go ahead, drop Lava Hound there. He dropped Skeleton Army, and I didn't have a whole lot for it, but I dropped my Dutes over there right in the middle. Distracts for a little bit, and then I go ahead and drop Baby Dragon over there on the Princess. I could have dropped Mega Minion, which maybe would have been better, was it? but I wasn't sure if how many of those Skeletons would have survived, and it actually worked out because three Skeletons made it, and the Baby Dragon was able to take out those Skeletons and then take out the Princess, and I only took like one shot on the tower, but look here, look here. Okay, so we got the Lava Hound in there, I went ahead, I raged my Inferno Dragon, the Lava Hound, and I zapped that last little Goblin just to get the Inferno Dragon on the tower just in time, and with the Raged up and the Inferno Dragon, dude, he took the tower out in like 10 seconds. I think it does so good if you can get into the tower, but getting him to the tower is like one in 50. One in like 50 chance of getting him to the tower. Okay, maybe less, <laughs> but that's why he's not used. But I think he's super fun if you get him to the tower. Anyway, so just pulling up some defense here, just kind of hoping that I can hold off. I have nothing in my hand for that goblin barrel, so sure enough, I dropped probably the worst card I could have dropped. I'm trying to think. No, there wasn't much else choice I had. He rockets my baby dragon because he doesn't like the way it looks, which is kind of offensive to the baby dragon because it's not his fault that he looks that way. And so, I don't know. I feel like he didn't have to rocket him. He could have, like, whatever. He could have fireballed him, let him live a little bit longer. But he rocketed him. And when he's coming at me with everything he's got, and then my only goal, I didn't really care too much. I just wanted to get the Inferno Dragon on the tower again. But he was doing a pretty good job distracting that little guy, since he can't like focus on things too well. It's kind of like everywhere. Kind of like me in life, if you think about it, because I don't really have a, what were they doing? Anyway, so, Lava Hound comes in, basically he tries to rock it, he almost gets it, he almost gets the tower there, and so that was a pretty good game by him um, in the end, he almost had a tower, but I think we would have taken that tower pretty quick, we had the Lava Hound coming in, and the Inferno Dragon coming in, and so we are going to get into a battle um, here um, real quick, and... Have you guys not, dude, it's super hard on the ladder for some reason, dude, I'm struggling, oh, and... So, I didn't know this, but when you do challenges, your crowns go towards your crown chest and they'll go towards your clan chest now too. So, super excited about that. So, we're going to get into a battle real quick and see how it does. So, if we can't get that Infernal Dragon on the tower again, because that's what we do. So, kind of a horrible starting hand, because I kind of like to have the um, Lava Hound in the starting hand. But I'll go ahead, 
I'll play that, and he has an Elixir Collector, level 6, which isn't tournament standard, so we don't have to worry too much. I'm going to drop Mega Minion in the back here, and then i see if I can drop Lava Hound at the bridge, just to get in front of that Mega Minion. Oof. Actually, yeah, oh, I should have dropped him maybe a little sooner. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if that's a good play, because, mmm. Yeah, we're going to rage all that up. Then we'll take out everything, maybe. Come on, take out those... Maybe it'll take out those mega, uh, those musketeers. I don't know. Probably not. Probably not. That's okay. We're going to take out that musketeer, and then we are going to take out those little musketeers with that. Those guys should be distracted for about an hour and a half, and then while they shoot everything. And then I'm going to zap them. Oh, crap. He's got a miner coming in. That's not, that's, that's going to, that's, that's going to wreak havoc on our tower. Mm-hmm. I would say horrible starting hand, and I did not see those three musketeers coming, and that's on me. That really is. And so, oh my gosh, again? I really don't have anything to defend against those little guys. I mean, I guess I could drop Baby Dragon over here, since that's pretty much all I got. So that's going to take that out in about three seconds flat, and then I'll drop, I guess I'll drop that right there. What's he shooting at? Is it even killing anything? Yeah, okay, so that defended it kinda, but then he's got another push coming our way. So how are we gonna get a push up here together? Um, gosh dang. We just gotta be patient, patient. If he drops down three musketeers again, I'm gonna flip a brick. Okay, good, drop Valkyrie in the back. That was the best move he could have made for us because that gives us time to get our Lob Hound out there and then gives us time to get our Inferno Dragon out there. Um, this tower is pretty much toast. <laughs> There's pretty much nothing we can do about it. But we're going to build up a fatty push here, and then I'm going to raid all as soon as we can get to the tower. See if we can't get the Infernal Dragon coming in there. Of course he fireballs, gets excellent value for his fireball. We're going to rage all of that action. Oh man, I think I missed some action. Come on. Whoa, I was sitting a full elixir, wasn't I? Dang it, don't take out my Infernal Dragon. That's my main key card, you little bounder. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this is not looking good. This is not... No! <laughs> How many musketeers does he have on the map? Because I can't kill him. This is the worst deck for those musketeers. <laughs> He's got five. <laughs> He's got five coming our way. That's a problem. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Rage that... <laughs> okay, so there's nothing I can do for... What was I supposed to do for that one? Let's get into another... Well played, yeah, right. Let's get into another one. That was horrible. That was probably worst case scenario. Um, let me look at my deck here and see if there's anything I can take. Obviously, because I have the rage, that's a problem because I should have a fireball or something in my deck. But I want to just get a... I want to rage it up, you know? I want to rage it up. Ah... Uh, you know what? I don't need the baby dragon and the mega minion, so I'm going to take the baby dragon out, and I'm going to take three spells. Yeah. Ooh. That could be a bad starting hand. Oh, well. I'm going to take three spells and see if that works any better, because <laughs> that was horrible. The three musketeers just basically cleaned my clock. <laughs> That's okay. Legendary Arena. Dude, I haven't seen this arena forever. Oh, man, he's not even going to play. Gosh dang it. That's okay. We're going to get... Why would he cycle and then drop? Maybe he wants a challenge. Well, I will definitely... Well, I'll just let him shoot all that because that's pretty much going to take that out. So we're going to get... Whatever. I'm going to put the Infernal Dragon... Why would he do this? This is just silly. I mean, if you start a challenge, you're basically wasting your gems. There's no reason not to play a challenge all the way. That just doesn't make any sense. So we're going to rage him up, just for fun, just to see how fast we can take that out, just for kicks. Well, that was like two seconds flat. Okay. And then, again, in like five, four, three, two... Why'd you drop the Electro Blizzard, you little gomer? <laughs> Gosh. Anyway, so that was a quick one. Okay, that was lame. So, I guess whatever. Good game on that one. Thanks for my... I got two more coins. See? Crown chest. Three for the crown chest. That's excellent. Okay, so let's play a real battle. Gosh. I don't know why you would start a challenge and then just throw it. There's no um, logical reasoning unless he thought he was dropping trophies. Hmm. Whatever. 
So we're gonna put Tombstone out here because I hate sitting around. He's got a level six Tombstone to mirror my level seven Tombstone and mine's looking mighty fine. And that Hey, sorry about that. Uh, tornado hit the city. Anyway, so something happened and I lost. Anyway, check this out on the, the Victory Challenge screen. Um, it shows, it's different now. It shows like your progress and everything. That's absolutely sweet and you get back right into it. So cool because before when you were in the challenges, it just blocked out everything. So that's pretty sweet. Anyway, so getting back into this um, battle here. Let's see if we can do one battle where somebody actually plays the game. So hoping that happens from Uli here. Um, I would have won that last one just so you know if that tornado didn't hit and I, I'll edit it out because it was stupid. I get interrupted. Anyway, so <laughs> sorry about that. Okay, so we're going to start here with a tombstone and I put the fireball in there. I may use it on that elixir collector if he puts something else down. So let's put Infernal Dragon in the back and then let's just wait a second. Oh, he's gonna drop his dudes. So let's go. That's not gonna hit him. Oh, princess is gonna come up there. We're gonna get some huge value right there. Get the princess and the elixir collector and get the mega minion right in front of the infernal dragon. We're gonna rage all that up. Hopefully we can, don't follow the hog rider. Do not follow the hog rider. Do not, do not. Okay, perfect. So we took out, okay, we took out. Locked on the tower. That's perfect. Absolutely perfect. Okay, perfect. Okay, so we got a little bit of damage. Not too bad. Not too bad. Alright, so let's drop Tombstone over here for defense as soon as she locks on something crazy. We'll drop Skeletons so those little goblins don't take out my entire Tombstone. And it looks like... Will it have Skeletons? Come on, Skeletons, take out the Princess already. Holy crap. Jeez. Okay, so he dropped Elixir Pump in the back. This is great because we're going to set up for a great push here. We're going to save Zap for when he tries to distract our Infernal Dragon. We're going to have Rage pull up here. So if we get the Infernal Dragon down, we'll get a Zap for whatever he's got. Mega Minion. Hopefully he doesn't fireball everything. That's good. So that'll distract the Infernal Dragon just for a little bit. That way we can get the Mega Minion in front of the Infernal Dragon. He tried freezing for some reason, which was great. Let's go, and I don't think I'm going to zap that. Oh, zap that, just for fun. Let's get rid of all that, and let's rage all that up. Get the Infernal Dragon on the tower. <laughs> Jeez, that is so fast. So fast. And then we got the Infernal Dragon locked on the King Tower, too. I'm not even putting anything down. Not even putting anything down. That worked so fast. Okay, so that worked really well. No distractions, that helps a lot. Thanks for dropping by the channel today. If you like what you've seen, subscribe if you're not already. Be sure and comment, leave any likes, anything else you need to tell me, let me know. And good luck.